Welcome to another pause for Advent. Let's be still, take a deep breath and pause for a moment. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Our reading today comes from the book of Jeremiah. And this is God speaking. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and have dug their own cisterns. Broken cisterns that cannot hold water. As a thief is disgraced when he is caught, so the people of Israel are disgraced. They, their kings and their officials, their priests and their prophets. They say to wood, you are my father, and to stone, you gave me birth. They have turned their backs to me and not their faces. Yet when they are in trouble, they say, come and save us. Where then are the gods you made for yourselves? Let them come if they can save you when you're in trouble. For you, Judah, have as many gods as you have towns. Over the last few episodes, we've reflected on our broken world, our broken relationship with God, one another and the created world. But now comes the kicker, because when we realise our brokenness, often we turn to the wrong solution. The foolish way we sometimes try to fix our situation beggars belief. And that's the situation that Jeremiah, Jeremiah indicts with the Israelites. In, in the Middle East, as you can imagine, there were dry spells. There was often hot weather. A spring of fresh water is so important. But what Isaiah says, you've done two things. First, you've abandoned the spring of fresh water, God himself. And instead, you've dug cisterns to just store up some water, which people would have done in those days, to just tide themselves over in a dry spell. Now, a cistern, the water in a cistern, would over time get stale and contaminated. And even worse, these cisterns, God says, are broken cisterns. They can't even hold water properly. What would we prefer when we are thirsty? a bucket of stale and not completely clean water or fresh spring water. There is no choice. Maybe a comparison can help. Imagine you've been camping for a week out in the wild, no access to rivers or to, to lakes, and you are in desperate need of a wash. And someone gives you a choice. You could either have a hot shower with shampoo and the rest, or you could have a packet of baby wipes. You and I know what we would choose. But Jeremiah says to Israel, you have chosen the baby wipes. You've made yourself gods which are not gods, made out of wood, made out of stone. So Swinney writes, when we are in trouble, who and what we turn to for help makes all the difference. What are your leaky systems? This passage is not saying we can't take medication and get therapy for depression or that we shouldn't save to provide for ourselves in old age. What Jeremiah is talking about is on a grander scale. The source of life and health and joy and peace is God himself. The Israelites had prophets with megaphones, but they couldn't and wouldn't hear what those prophets had to say. How about us? If you can at this point, why don't you pause the video and go and get yourself a glass of fresh water? Slaking a raging thirst can only be remedied by drinking water. Medication 
entertainment, distraction, food cannot help when we are terribly thirsty. And in the same way, our spiritual thirst can only be remedied by the fresh life-giving water of God, God himself. Let's sit quietly for a moment. Let's sip our glass of water and ask the Holy Spirit to help us see that our deepest craving is for nothing less than the Holy God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for creating us with an inbuilt thirst for your presence. Forgive us for trying to satisfy that thirst in the wrong ways and help us to come to you, the living water. Amen. Stay safe, stay connected, stay hopeful. Thank you.